but this is right up at the top of the pyramid, and it's one of the oldest, continued, uh, and, and most prestigious within the establishment uh, meetings. I mean, if you get the Bilderberg nod, like Bill Clinton did in 1991, little known governor, you're going right at the top. If you get the Bilderberg nod, like Tony Blair did two years before uh, he became prime minister, th th they plan things two, three, four years out on the schemes and the programs, and always right after Bilderberg, you then see their talking points being regurgitated in G8, G20, being pushed by the media outlets they own and control. Are you seeing more uh, interest in this kind of thing happening around the globe? Obviously, uh, from the US to the global, you're looking at it. Are you seeing people come to your side? Are you getting letters from people around the world, from the UK, from Europe? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, our website, InfoWars.com, is visited by all over the planet. The radio shows listened to by people all over the planet. Uh, I've run into people on the streets of London. Uh, when I'm just walking in the dark, I hear my voice and come over of all race, colors, creeds. Uh, I've gone out you know, into some of the tourist areas and run into people who live in London and just been basically mobbed uh, by people that are listeners over here. Uh, so people are as awake in uh, England uh, to what's going on as they are in Texas, where I live. And so I think it's a populism that transcends left and right as people begin to try to figure out exactly who the special interests are that always get the front seats, who always get first dibs at the table, who get bailed out for trillions of dollars. Uh, I mean, that's what's going on in there. Tax avoidance for the ultra-rich, uh, uh, setting agendas, uh, price fixing. They've been caught before, and that's why they always told the media, just say we don't exist or you're fired. I've talked to national press people just this year uh, who were told, do not go cover Bilderberg. I've talked to national press profilers in the United States uh, who were said, of course, I can do whatever I want. I'll be allowed to go to England and cover you. Famous reporters. Uh, and then they're told, no, they, they told me, you know, don't go, and, and by the way, don't mention Bilderberg in your piece. So that's the type of stuff that's going on. I talked to five different national media outlets who were already doing profiles on me, and several of them uh, asked to come here and were told they couldn't. And and one of them told me off record, oh, you're right. Well, I'm blown away. They said, don't even mention it. And then they asked the editor of the major magazine well, why. They said, just, just keep the job. Just just don't get into it. Because in the United States, uh, it's finally been in the Huffington Post. It's finally been in uh, CNBC covered it. Uh, I mean, just four years ago, the New York Times did an article, a film review, a film called New World Order, uh, where the film crew was there just covering the cover building. They got helicopters, armored uh, you know, limousines coming in, they had Secret Service with MP5s aiming them at us. I mean, it was a circus. And the New York Times said Jones was in a Marriott, uh, you know, field imagining all this. That made, wow. I mean, no wonder circulation of those established publications is down, because everybody online saw the video. They knew it was real and happening. I mean, imagine the New York Times, can the New York Times today say Jones was in England imagining stuff? Probably will. And they've got a certain audience that they can tell anything they want to. I mean, it's just, it doesn't mean I have all the answers either about what's going on. It doesn't mean everybody in there is, you know, open evil or consciously evil. It just means that there is power structures that are always trying to manipulate our, our countries, and they don't want us to even know that's happening. That's a military tactic hey, Mary, how are throughout you? history, Very good. over and over again, where they will say, you're not being assaulted. And Tokyo Rose was saying to the uh, uh, forces going into uh, uh, to Japan, Tokyo Rose said, listen, you've been defeated, America's been invaded, you've been destroyed. Remember Baghdad Bob, as the bombs are falling behind him, and Jet and helicopters are two miles behind him. And he says, the Americans have been thrown completely out of Baghdad. They've been thrown out of Iraq, in fact. And and some Americans watched that and went, well, he is wearing a uniform. I mean, it's government. It must be true. Uh, and, and, and our government lies so much, people thought it was true. But at a certain point, once the illusion is broken and a mortar goes off behind him, everybody knows it's a fraud. And basically, the Bilderberg Group, the mainstream media, have had their Tokyo Rose, Baghdad Bob moment. They told us there's nothing behind the curtain. It's the great and powerful laws. Your presidents and prime ministers, they really run everything. doesn't matter which party you put in. Globalism, new world order continues on because of these people. The CIA, itself run by big robber barons, founded on record by big robber barons at Yale. The CIA, on record, helped set up, this has been declassified, Bilderberg in 54, to get the old European robber barons together with the UK robber barons and the US and Canadian robber barons, all in one room for basically global corporate domination. 
And so th this is the history of the last 60 years here, uh, is these people. I mean, this is this is as high level as it gets, so of course it doesn't exist. <laughs> of course it isn't really going on. Because if the media, see, most of the media isn't controlled. They're not New World Order. They're not getting orders. That's why reporters feel insulted when I, you know, say, you know, you guys are working for the globalists. People are working for the globalists because they've grown up in this culture of lies. They just expect there's no men behind the curtain. They expect there's no secret lobbying meetings going on. So they expect the NSA isn't listening to them without, you know, wa uh, warrants. And, and Alex Jones is just crazy saying that 16, 17 years ago. When it was in congressional documents, it was going on. None of that was my opinion. But now that the press is actually seeing that they've been lied to, it gives more of the mainstream press cover. It's kind of like a revolt of the mainstream press I'm seeing, where now well, everybody's reporting it, now I can report. And now Bilderberg can't shut everybody down. They can't fire everybody. They can't kill careers. All right. Bill, put the whole thing on there. All right, all right. That's a lot. That's good. Thank you. All right. The, the, the Huffington Post UK, Leanne McAdoo, read the show was actually fair this morning. Was that you did the report? Well, she said she read one that was just like, said we were actually, I think so. Well, that's good. Anyways, so, so, but I mean, that's what's happening is, I was streaming. Did you get that? Man, you know, I love all you can eat buffets, but that's what this is like with media. It's like, eat five hamburgers, eat ten hamburgers, more media, more media. To the point I'm like, ah. Oh. Uh, like, like, people are asking all these great questions, and I'm like, because the politician just shakes your hand and literally ignores what you're saying because they now realize they have to because there's no way to like actually compartmentalize it all. But I actually listen to what everybody asks me and says, and then I can't answer it because another question's coming in. And then, and then you feel like you're insulting people because you can't answer their question. Like I woke up super depressed this morning, and then I had to psychoanalyze why I was because I never get depressed. And I realized it's just because I'm going to try to get out here and talk to everybody, and I want to talk to you. I want to hear what you have to say. But instead, it's all going to be about me. Like, I'm tempted to be the first speaker tomorrow and, and instead of, like, you know, being one of the last speakers. Because I want to and not sit there and even worry about who speaks when. Uh,